Make a great SOP, make good connections, explain your own self to the professors during interviews. If you're not really into it, coming to Germany, it's not worth it. Sir, welcome back. We are going to the University of Würzburg and here with two of these people. अभी मैं आपको इंट्रोड्यूस करवाता हूँ और इस वक्त अभी मैं डोनर शॉप में हूँ यहाँ पर डोनर यहाँ का बहुत फेमस गो टू स्नैक है टर्किश लोगों ने इस चीज़ को लाया है जर्मनी में बेसिकली सो so, अभी हम लोग जा रहे हैं यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ रूसबर्ग आपका नाम क्या है बताओ मेरा नाम शैलेंद्र और पीछे बैठे हैं अभी आ, मेरा नाम अभी है <laughs> अभी यहाँ पर मास्टर्स कर रहे हैं कंप्यूटर साइंस में यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ रूसबर्ग में और आप फुल टाइम नौकरी कर रहे हो मैं फुल टाइम जॉब करता हूँ और एज ए हॉबी यूट्यूब चैनल भी है मेरा लोक प्रवासी नाम है सर 2012 में आए हुए हैं यस बताओ अभी तू स्कूल में था ना क्लास में था तब तक ये यहाँ पहुंच गए थे क्लास में था सोच रहा था कि घर पे जाके डोरेमोन देखा तब तक ये प्लेन लेके यहाँ आ गए थे और आई सो आई एम एट द मोमेंट सिटिंग हियर इन द यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ वर्सबर्ग व्हाट्स योर नेम अभिनव सिंह क्या पढ़ाई कर रहे हो मास्टर्स इन ट्रांसलेशन न्यूरो साइंस आपका इंडिया में बैकग्राउंड क्या रहा है आई हैव अ बैचलर्स ऑनर्स इन साइंस इन न्यूरो साइंसेस फ्रॉम एमिटी यूनिवर्सिटी नोएडा इट्स बीन हाउ लॉन्ग दैट यू आर हियर नाउ इन जर्मनी इट विल बी 7 मंथ्स नाउ हाउस बीन द एक्सपीरियंस सो फार अ बिट चैलेंजिंग बिकॉज़ इनिशियली आई डिड नॉट रियली फील दैट वेलकम बट ओवर द पीरियड ऑफ टाइम आई अंडरस्टूड हाउ दे वर्क द कल्चर वर्क्स हाउ द सिस्टम वर्क्स हेंस फॉर्थ आई विल हैव अ मच कंफर्टेबल लिविंग व्हाट काइंड ऑफ बैचलर्स आर accepted for this course they accept anything based on biology or psychology okay. so i have my friends who have done their mbbs as well so they are practicing doctors as well and i also have people who have done clinical psychology from india itself mm -hmm. and other fields as well like neurosciences biotechnology biosciences anything related to biology or psychology is completely welcome at the end of this course kya karna chahte ho well obviously that's a very subjective idea but i would say for me i have always wanted to be a scientist for me wanting to go into translation neuroscience is actually to contribute more towards the scientific or the research field of neuroscience so psychological problems neurological problems and there's a there's a ton of idea which is involved with neuroscience per se har tarah ki bimari all kinds of stuff especially in europe although in india it's pretty less india is more towards psychological aspect of Correct. it one point that this is one of the major reasons why i shifted to europe to study for my future because in india neuroscience as a field is still very slow aur fir bachelor's mein bachelor's ka 3 saal ka degree tha ya 4 right, saal right 3 saal 3 saal bachelor's in honors in neuro sciences aur aapne application kahan kahan kara tha germany mein okay so when i went to dard i searched for neuroscience just neuroscience and i saw like a ton of list of public universities i applied to university of bremen university of wurzburg university of gottingen university of tubingen oldenburg freiburg and goethe institute of frankfurt sab jagah pe neuroscience ki neuroscience yeah although the degree varies a bit for example mere university mein masters of science in translational neuroscience bremen it's just generic neuroscience goethe and freiburg it's cognitive neuroscience so they have a bit of more specializations right right can you talk a little bit more about your course what you're studying so for translational neuroscience in my first semester we had a mixture of neuroscience concepts the anatomy of neuroscience the, the anatomy of the brain the circuits the functioning artificial intelligence then i also had a subject which is neurosurgery so that was taught in the uni clinicum so there were practicing doctors neurosurgeons who taught me about brain surgery brain mm. tumors and other sort of stuff. neuroscience when you look at the job field right right i believe that post completion of this master you would want to go into phd absolutely right yeah do you also have plan for post doc as well or yes so i'll break it down for you so what i'm planning to do is i want to do my phd because obviously phd would give me a lot of leverage over more people who haven't done it secondly i want to shift to an industrial field so i want to go into a pharmaceutical company work for them drug industry stuff like that mm. and then after the course of few years i can do my post doc with the pharmaceutical company or the academics it doesn't really matter completely depends upon the project and then i can eventually shift to academia because it's more easy going of a life okay. at least from my field that's what i've seen with all the professors what sort of expenditure are you making to get this degree here for my uh, semester contribution is just 146 euros from next semester on which is 156 besides that is just living expenditure that i think if you are living a moderate life you uh -huh. can manage within 600 to 650 euros easy ओके जब तूने एप्लीकेशन किया था तो कितने में से एडमिशन आ गए थे आई गॉट एडमिशन फ्रॉम फोर ऑफ देम यू डिड एवरीथिंग बाय योरसेल्फ यस एवरीथिंग बाय माइसेल्फ नाइस आई थिंक इट्स इट्स मच इजीयर इफ यू जस्ट स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग ऑन अ टाइमली बेसिस सो आई स्टार्टेड ऑफ बाय सर्चिंग फॉर द यूनिवर्सिटीज 
two years back, I started preparing for the documents. Obviously, the APS was a bit of a surprise. I think anything, anybody can actually do it if you just devote sufficient time to it. Right, right. When you look at the industry of neuroscience in Germany, right? right. And when you look at the academic study field in India, so look psychology bhi padhra. Aapke case mein aapne bachelor's in neuroscience padha. Right. That was very precise of you. Absolutely. But like, agar main psychology ke side mein se bhi thode baat karo, mm -hmm. how is the scope here in Germany for them? So for psychologists, I would say it's pretty easy as well. Because obviously since I've studied neuroscience, I already have a good biological background of it, good base of it. So it's much easier for me to get through with the courses. Regardless, since I've said that there are a variety of students in my cohort, yeah. a lot of professors have always emphasized on the fact that they want to have an inclusive group, right? So they've always taught from the basic. Mm -hmm. So I have two students who have done clinical psychology from India itself in my yeah. cohort, yeah. and they have not even faced a problem. I think they've, we've got the result and they scored like a 2.0 nice. in, in both the subjects. For my second semester, I have most of my courses in psychiatry, which is again, there's a balance between the psychology and the neuroscience aspect. So in the second semester, they'll probably have it a bit easier mm -hmm. because they've already studied about it. I'll have it a bit difficult because I'll have to <laughs> memorize a lot of stuff. Yeah. Second last question for you. If we have a clinical psychologist who is watching us, they are looking forward to have like a full-time job in Germany. What do you have to say to them? I would say that it completely comes down to the fact of what do you actually want to do. So just like how I want to pursue research or move into an industrial field, I would say that translational neuroscience is a great course to go about it. But if you want to practice more of medicine or psychology or more patient-to-patient -patient interaction, Action, I wouldn't actually recommend this course. I would say that you could go for a more generic clinical based program like mm. clinical psychology, masters in clinical psychology or like public health and stuff like that. So translation neuroscience I would say comes down to the fact of if you want to be a researcher or if you want to work it into an industry. Mm. It is not for people who want to practice clinical I see. activities. What one last advice do you have for all those students who are watching us and want to have a same probably career path like you? Make a great SOP because they do not have an entrance exam or, a, or an interview. So the only thing they look at is your SOP and your CV. Make good connections because your recommendation letter goes a long way. Your GPA does not really matter as long as you have potential to explain your own self to the professors during interviews. Just have fun during this period because if you're not really into it, coming to Germany with a half-assed mindset or, or not really loving the field that you're working or trying to study for, it's not worth it. Mm. And if you're into it, then no amount of problem can actually stop you. Got That's it. it. Got it, got it. So if you've made it till here, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Make sure that you check the description of this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Thank you.